I was like, Bryce, do a pull-up. And he couldn't get off the ground. Damn. <laughs> Alex had sprinted over there, picked that kid up by the neck with one <laughs> hand. He was like, you won't ever do this to a girl. I'm waiting for the one. <laughs> oh, you mean, <laughs> that, you mean a girl. <laughs> uh, yeah. Your, okay. I, my life revol- revolves around finding the that one. Is- off, 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 off. The pill. All right, let's do the uh, clappy claps. Okay, we're rolling. Give us a clap. Have- oh. This episode of Off The Pill Podcast is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of amazing classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. You can take classes in everything from photography and creative writing to design, productivity, and more. So whether you're returning a long-time passion project, challenging yourself to get outside your comfort zone, or simply exploring something new, Skillshare has classes for you. Join the millions of students already learning on Skillshare today with a special offer just for my listeners. Get two free months. That's right. Skillshare is offering off-the-pill listeners two months of unlimited access to thousands of classes for free. To sign up, go to Skillshare.com slash Higa. Again, go to Skillshare.com slash Higa to get your free months right now. You can do it. Go there, and it'll make us look a lot better if you guys sign up. So... Again, Skillshare.com, Skillshare.com slash Higa. Make sure you use that link because it, it shows them that, you know, you guys came from here and we look a lot cooler. Thank you. Welcome back to another episode of Off the Pill Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Uh, oh, you got some music too? A little bit. Okay. See, we had this yesterday, but uh, anyway, I'm Ryan Higa. We have David Choi right here. We got Pacalito sitting right here and we have a very special guest, Mr. Alex Wasabi. Hello. I actually don't know if I was supposed to say your... Um, you're the last. Do you, is that public info? Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I mean, people can find it. Mm. Bur- it's just Burris. 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 <laughs> Burris. Yeah. I, that's the real reason I didn't say it because I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> wow. Uh, Mispronouncing my last name. I know. I know. Wasabi, Wasabi just sounds cooler. It does. It yeah. does sound cool. Um, so for people who don't know, Alex has over 4.2 billion total views, 11.5 wow. million subscribers on YouTube. And um, it was a channel that you actually started with, Roy, mm-hmm. who is... What's his guava guava, guava juice? Just guava now, juice. Yeah. yeah, he has his own channel as well. Um, and you're still pretty active. Mm-hmm. I mean, how? I mean, I know at one point you were doing you're d- almost daily, right? Yeah, I was doing daily. Like you for slowed a few down. Years. Yeah, that was just crazy. that's crazy, man. It was crazy. Yeah, it was not worth it. Like the numbers were way <laughs> up, but it was yeah. just so much work. How long did you keep that up for? I think like two or three years, maybe. Wow, every yeah. day. That's well, crazy. like m- yeah, like six times a week because I mm-hmm. missed days. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, what else is new? We were just talking about it. I don't know how else to bring it up, but you just had a, uh, <laughs> a little boxing match. Um, and we were just talking about it. That's why it's weird because I, I want to re-bring that up, though. So you just had a boxing match yeah. with, uh, I didn't know this, with Fuzi. Yeah. Um, it was a spar more. It was a spar. I don't know. That's, I don't know. They just told me right yeah. before you got here. Yeah. And I was like, oh, I didn't even know that happened. Why didn't you tell me? And apparently he did, but I, 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 I don't recall. Ryan likes to ignore me when I talk <laughs> to him. Yeah, but I mean, so you you boxed him. Where yeah. did that come from? So we first like I used to like play around and like train a little bit, uh, nothing serious. And then so I knew a little bit about about boxing. And he said he wanted to spar me on his live stream a long time ago, like a couple months ago. I was like, all right. So <laughs> we sparred him in his live stream, and I I was like just messing with him a lot, and uh, he was doing horrible. And so then he trained a couple weeks, and he's like, hey, I've been training. Let's spar again. And I'm like, oh, okay, let's spar. But, like, you you know sparring is, like, 70%. You go, like, 70% or 60 But when we both got in there, we just started swinging. <laughs> <laughs> like, for real? Like, yeah. okay. We were, like, I think I turned it up at the beginning because I was, like, trying to keep him away because I knew he was bigger and heavier and he had the power hits. He's big. Yeah. Oh, he's a big dude. How much heavier is he? Uh, he likes to say he's 10 pounds heavier, but he's, like, 15 at least. <laughs> he's big. <laughs> That's yeah. a big dude. That's unfair. Right. Yeah. I mean, like, well, I mean, they're, if they're just sparring, yeah, guess, but, but you weren't sparring. <laughs> we were not sparring. It was so it turned into serious. a fight. Fight. Yeah. Were you guys? Uh, was there any like, what is it called? Uh, trash talk. You, yeah. I mean, were you guys like fighting like on friendly terms or like? Oh yeah. To, like, I mean, was there some kind of beef there? No, no. There's no beef. We were just fighting for fun, and then uh, we both just kept turning it up, and then he started swinging as hard as he could, and he got me because I didn't have any defense or anything because I knew how to like. Throw a punch, but I didn't know how to dodge. Dodge. I didn't know how to like put power in it. I just knew like the basics. So did you have like a, any lasting effect from that? No. You, like black? Did you black out? I di- I didn't black out because like when you get punched, if you get knocked out, yeah, you don't really, you don't feel it. Yeah. You just like wake oh. up on the ground and you're like, ah, I must have lost. Darn it. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't know. I never got punched that hard. <laughs> I was a little. I was like actually like a little foggy for like a couple hours after. But yeah. Other than that, it was nothing. Did, oh. did you at any point during the fight feel a little bit of anger? Uh, no. But if I would have made it past that big punch, I would have been like. Oh, he's going 100%. <laughs> it's game time. <laughs> but I didn't make it past do you, that. <laughs> do you think Fousey got a little worked up at any point? Because you in that first round, you were, you were punching. Yeah, you were throwing I was some getting jabs. Them. I was, you were tagging him him. I was tagging him a lot. And then the second round, he went to his corner, and the coaches were like, hey, okay, he's keeping you away. Just break through, take the punches, and just get in there and just get them. And he did. He's like a tank. <laughs> He's like a Palestinian tank coming at me. <laughs> <laughs> there was nothing I could do about it. Yeah. Except what, for go like this, and then I was like, that's it. What did your corner say? After um, round? My corner was just like, keep doing what you're doing. Like, he can't do anything. We didn't expect him to come out like that. So <laughs> I was not prepared. But now, I mean, I've watched the footage. Uh -huh. So I think I'm prepared. Now. You learned from it. Yeah, I think I'm pretty good now. Because you said, okay, so you guys boxed. Yeah. And then you or you sparred. And then he trained after that first sparring. Yeah. And then this happened. Yeah. And now, okay. So it's and like now, a trilogy. Yeah. Now I, I, I'm down to spar him again. Are you, do, you have a, do you have more fear since that has happened? No, I have more awareness. <laughs> like, I've watched the footage a bunch of times. I'm never going to be like this again. Uh -huh. <laughs> like, well, Straight like, up. I'm going to be like this, and that's it. Like, But I think watching the footage, once you see what you did wrong, just fix I mean, it, and I'm I a better fighter now. I still think that's a silly thing. Like, he's so much bigger than <laughs> he you. He is bigger than And me. it also brings me to question, because you were talking hella trash back in the day to KSI, <laughs> and I know him, and he's huge. He's how, way how bigger than you. How much does he weigh? I don't know, but he's huge. <laughs> yeah. That guy's gigantic, man. I know. He's like six. I, I one, think you're crazy. Two, six, like, do you want to get hurt? Like, I that's... think I could. I think I could put up a good match, but he is heavier. Than like, me. no. But the thing is, you could probably tag him. Yeah. But I think, I think if he tags you once, it's gonna hurt a lot. Yeah. <laughs> he's a big True. dude, man. He is a big dude. I arm wrestled him. Basically, two people, two of us arm wrestled him, yeah. and we we. At the barely, same time. Yeah, at the same time. And we could yeah. barely beat him. Oh, at the him. same He's time? He's so freaking strong. It's crazy. What do you yeah. mean at the same time? Like, we had, I had one arm, and uh, Derek had the other arm, and we just tried to arm wrestle him, and he'd like, well, he, Derek beat him, but I lost him. It took, like, so long. He's just so strong. It's crazy. Okay, how about, since you know how strong yeah, he is. Yeah, I can arm wrestle you, yeah, too. And then we can Okay, tell. we'll do that at the end of the podcast, okay. and I'll be like, oh, you know what? You got you got some power there. Or you'll be you like, oh, you know what? I was right. You're weak. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Uh, okay, wait. So you think how much do you think he weighs? Like two hundred? He's got to be at least two hundred. I'm gonna say, right? I think him and Logan fought at one ninety. So and, I, wait, how much do you? No, there's no way he's one ninety. He's I, huge, dude. No, but you think he, he's bigger than one ninety. He cut. That's why. Oh, okay. Yeah, they Both cut he, down. Well, what are you? What is your weight right now? Right now, I'm like one seventy five. But do you cut to get there or natural? No, I actually been trying to put on weight. I'm usually one seventy naturally. I'm gonna guess their natural weight is like two hundred something. No way. Oh yeah, they're yeah, yeah. Huge. yeah. So yeah natural muscular. weight. Yeah. 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 But oh, okay. Well, I what is know. what is with all you YouTuber and influencers <laughs> like fighting? Yeah. Like I love fighting, but I'll never fight. <laughs> like I mean, I don't know how. It's just fun. It's just like, <laughs> oh, you get to get in there. It's all on you. It's, Remember, I, you it's he like, hit me up back in the day. He's like, hey, let's go do this thing. Yeah. Let's go fight. And I was like, no. I think we would be a good match. No, How you're so you much weigh? stronger than me. <laughs> like, what the hell? And you're hella, hella big. Like, I see How your you Instagram weigh? posts. I'm like, naturally, I'm like 160, like 160. Oh, okay. I would say if I'm in shape, though, I mm -hmm. actually get a little heavier. Mm -hmm. But um, naturally, I would like in the 60s, but I shouldn't be that heavy. So you think I'm too... You're I too mean, big. No, I mean I'm too small to go against KSI. So I think I think if you, I mean yeah, you'd have to get a lot. I don't think <laughs> I can bulk because you you can't like yeah, you can't it wouldn't work really out help. And box He's just naturally and, big, dude. Yeah, but so is Logan. What about right? uh, Deji? How heavy is he? I don't know actually. I've never met him. I think he's, I think shorter. he's, he's shorter and lighter. Yeah. from what yeah. I heard, that's a good. That so would, be would be a cool be a fight. Match. Yeah, yeah. yeah. how come you didn't talk trash to him? <laughs> or, or have you already? We have. Yeah. Oh okay. One day, I feel like one day. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I got maybe one day. That's I gotta funny. actually train. Well, even like, well, you, uh, we were saying like, even like the, even though it's like fifteen pounds doesn't seem like mm -hmm. a lot. Like fifteen pounds of muscle, like natural, mm -hmm. you know, build is a lot, and it can yeah. be like dangerous, you know. And that's what you do <laughs> with yeah. Uzi. That's what I did with Uzi. <laughs> yeah, and I got and, knocked out. <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought it was funny because um, during that time when all that was happening, like we we talked, and I was like saying the same thing. I was like, I'm not gonna fight you, dude. You're yeah. way bigger than I am. <laughs> and uh, and then Rice Gum hit me up, and he's like, 
hey, you want to do this fight oh, that, thing? You could be I was right. like, yeah, I was, but that's the same thing. I'm like so much heavier than him. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> Like that's not safe. E- that's not funny either. I look like a. If I win, I'm a bad guy. If I lose, it's embarrassing. You know, yeah, like he's true. like a lot. I mean, well, maybe he's a really good boxer. I don't know. Uh, he's pretty good at basketball. He is really he's good at basketball. He's way better at basketball than you. And would think. he's got the reach. You know. But we were at my house one time. You boxed him? No. Oh. I was like, Bryce, do a pull up, and he couldn't get off the ground. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> is, are you? He has yeah, like man. the speed. Are you calling no, him out right now? Yeah. No, no, no. no, no. Oh, oh, my bad. Right. I didn't mean to put you on blast. It was just crazy. <laughs> Damn, I was going to say, you know what Alex was always saying? Yeah. <laughs> Bryce, come get to a pull up. <laughs> First Morgs, now you. My bad, my bad. Yeah. I, I think he's, he's athletic enough to do a pull up. I, that's what I thought too. <laughs> Maybe he was oh. messing with you. <laughs> I don't know, but I don't want to talk about it. He's going to make a diss track on me. I know, I know. <laughs> Alex, like, well, Alex can only do two pull ups. <laughs> Do you have a prior fighting or training experience? Like, Mm-mm. like did you do what did you did you do sports in uh, high school? Or? No, you look like you play soccer. Oh. <sighs> no, <laughs> I, <see> that. <laughs> I played basketball. Yeah, you play a lot of basketball. Yeah, basketball. yeah that's true. Actually, you're really good at basketball too. Yeah, and that's it. And that translates yeah. into boxing. So I feel like I have untapped mm. potential. Yeah, because all the like jab steps and like the fakes and stuff. So you're like, ah. oh, oh, oh. you know who would be a good match? Actually, well, not for boxing, but basketball is if he played Kev. Kev, Kev Jumbo. Is he good? He's, yeah, he's, he's good. good. He's good. He's good. good. And you guys uh-huh. are like same height and like similar builds. Kev's, Kev's a little skinnier right now, but I, I don't know. I think that would be a good matchup. Let's do it. And if he's if he starts beating you, you just punch him, uh-huh. and it turns into a boxing match. Yeah, do that. Yeah, but um, so I'm I'm curious because you did a little bit of boxing, um, or at mm-hmm. least experimenting with it and stuff. Do you like how much more respect in that aspect do you have for like fighters? Does that grow also? When you're walking around and you see people threatening you, oh like, well, it's more yeah. I've gr- got a lot of respect for wait, fighters. Wait, wait, what do you mean by threat? Yeah, what, who's threatening you? <laughs> Is this happening? I mean, it's like just people step up or try to punk oh. him. Because there's been a time where mm-hmm. actually a vi- are we bringing up this story? The video. Oh yeah, one? go ahead. I yeah. want to hear it. Yeah, <laughs> I want to hear it. Too. Yeah. So essentially, uh, so I used to work for Alex, um, and there was one VidCon where we were walking uh, back to our room. Yeah. And in the lobby near the elevators, this one uh, like like black kid was like swinging this girl around by her hair. Kind yeah, of. it was crazy. And what? Yeah, like yeah. She, she grabbed her by the hair and was like dragging her around and like swinging her around. And I didn't notice this at first. We had another person with us, Kyle. He's like, hey, stop that. And I looked <laughs> and I was like, whoa. Kyle. And I was like, yeah, cut that. And before I could finish cut that out, Alex had sprinted over there. Pick that kid up by the neck with one <laughs> hand. And it was like, you don't ever do this to a girl. Net. Like up against a wall. And I was like, how are you that strong? Yeah, he's so it strong. Adrenaline. It was adrenaline. But that guy was like. <gasps> and then I got kicked out of the hotel. For protecting a girl? Well, I, I think I got a little aggressive. Maybe. <laughs> but, yeah. But he was like literally swinging her around. Yeah, that's a gr- That sounds a little aggressive. I asked why. <laughs> Later, uh, I went back to the girl. I was like, why was he doing that? And she said, because she. Uh, threw water in his face from her water bottle and he overreacted. <laughs> well, she probably shouldn't have done that either, yeah. but that's yeah. not the appropriate response. Yeah, why did she do that? <laughs> I don't know. I, get, I don't know. It was just like three in the morning. They were tired, mm-hmm. I guess. Wow, so fighting. he picked up a person with one hand. Yeah, well, Maybe he, he was can super, take he was super KSI. Skinny. I don't know. He was super skinny. Oh, okay. <laughs> he was like a black rice cow. <laughs> <That's crazy. laughs> <laughs> Damn, there's all this shade in rice. <laughs> He's about to make a diss track. Yes, you guys are gonna don't s- do it. Yeah. Don't do it. So, Paco, you mentioned that you worked with Alex? Yeah, yeah, oh, I worked yeah. with Alex mm-hmm. before when uh, it was him and Roy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, it was fun. Roy. Are Roy. you guys, are, are you guys, you guys are cool, right? Yeah. We oh, okay. see each other at basketball like almost every week, mm-hmm. every other week. Mm-hmm. Roy's pretty good too, right? Yeah, Roy's good. Yeah. Yeah. He's good. So he, I remember we played at the um, ISA thing and I was like surprised mm-hmm. at like, oh, he actually knows what he's doing. <laughs> he's unpredictable. You yeah. don't know what he's about to do. Yeah, yeah. he's like pretty quick. <laughs> You you might have answered this a, a few times already, quite a few times. Um, but I, I don't I don't really know the history of, of you and Roy. But um, I just briefly know that you guys worked together. You yeah. started something, and then you you broke apart. So I guess? he when we first started, he made a YouTube channel, and he had all his friends come on. And there's like there's a bunch of us. There's like eight of us, I think. Mm. And we're just all friends. We're just making silly videos. And then the other guys in the group decided to go talk to girls or start doing sports. And me and Roy were like, the normal thing, let's just make more videos. Like, (laughs) (laughs) so me and Roy stayed in it and then we did it for a few years and then it took off. And then we moved here. Um, we were just filming and doing stuff. But then as we got older, we like both wanted to do different things than what we were doing. 
but he wanted to go into gaming and then eventually into like what he does now. And then I wanted to get more lifestyle and more vloggy. So mm-hmm. we just split up and then he's doing his own thing. And, and you're both doing good. Yeah. We yeah. still hang out. And it's fun. Do you feel like uh, at the point of separation, though, did you feel like there's a lot of tension between you guys and, and to the point where you guys split apart? You had to have that space. And then yeah. that space created uh, that that absence created fondness. And that's kind of like how yeah. I actually think we're better friends now than we were back then. Because Just it's because, not work. Related. Yeah, it's not work related. Yeah. We're. When we see each other, we're not like we don't have a schedule. We're just like there to play basketball or there at an event and just hang out right. and talk. So yeah, it, yeah, it took a that. while, but it's it, I think it's better now. Mm. Yeah. Um. So you're you're living right now with your brother. Yeah, right? I'm living with my brother and Matt, my mm-hmm. cameraman. But your so your brother is also he he makes videos too, right? Yeah. Yeah, and he's like pretty popular. How much how many subscribers does he have now? Over a million for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure exactly, <coughs> but over a million. He's been doing it for like four, or five years, something like that. Oh, really? Yeah. And okay, so oh, I didn't know he was doing it that long. Five years—that's that's a long time. He's yeah. he's been around. Yeah. It's been a while. He's been doing mm-hmm. it, um, but we live. I just got a new house. Oh, you did? Yeah, he's moving with me, and Matt's moving with me, and then JP is moving with me. Oh, right on. So okay, you're okay. not the only one with a group of Asians in your house. <laughs> well, actually, he doesn't have any Asians in his yeah, house. He kicked, us, he kicked us all out. I have an Asian dog, <laughs> your like mom. a Shiba Inu, and my mom. Sometimes yeah. she's there. So, but uh, <laughs> with your with your brother, um, you know, there's a w- with a lot of YouTube stuff. You know, there's always speculation and shipping between people, mm-hmm. um, and people shipping. like shipping, yeah, shipping hit ship him with the name, you know, the Ron Ron yeah. or whatever and stuff. And then uh, recently, you started to do videos yeah. uh, with. Her sister. Oh, what? Vanessa. Me. Yeah. And her sister. I s- yeah. Wait, I I saw you wrote something on Twitter. I don't know where it was, but you're like my fake girlfriend or something yeah. like that. So what is that about? <laughs> everybody was shipping us together all the time, and we we're like, oh. so we we're like, let's just play into it instead of like being like, no, 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 let's just. So your play into it. brother is being shipped with Veronica, Veronica and you're and being then, shipped. So yeah. like. Whoever, if this were to happen, mm-hmm. whoever were to get married first is like <laughs> incestual, because yeah. like you know what I'm saying. I was wondering about that. Like if you were to, <laughs> if your brothers were to marry each other, I mean marry not each other. If you were to marry twins, right? Yeah. Like that's incest. Like no, you know what I'm saying though. Like that's your step. That's true. Your step no, something. But like you see, like sometimes twins will marry that's other what I'm twins saying, though. But mm-hmm. like whoever gets married first, you're like marrying th- your family. But like, are their wow, kids gonna look the <laughs> exact same? Like that's gonna look good the que- exact same. That'd be <laughs> amazing. a great question. Yeah. yeah. Experiment. Oh no, we have to find some twins that yeah. marry twins. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so it, I mean, where so, does that stem from? Any truth? Like, do you guys have anything going on? No. Oh, I, we've never had anything going on. Like, <laughs> I guess we've been flirty before, but never yeah, like online, like for camera I mean, sake. Like, or when we just talk, we're just flirty people. But oh, right. It's just like this is how we talk. So I don't know. We started. I, I made a music video. Like, she's my fake. Girlfriend now she's my fake ex girlfriend. So I made a video like sneaking into my fake ex girlfriend's birthday party and like <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> I, I, but it's obvious that we're not. But yeah, then yeah. they can tell that it's obvious. But they still were like, but maybe. Would you like, date her? Uh, I I don't I don't know. We I mean we're at. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that sounds. Yeah. Like you're confused about Wait, it. Didn't you? <laughs> no, I, n- I haven't thought about it. I'm gonna bring this up because uh, there was a <laughs> I think at a, a convention a while ago or something. Someone said if you were to date three YouTubers or something, who would it be? Mm-hmm. And uh, she was one that you mentioned, I believe. And the other two was Ryan. Yes, but remember he's that, taken. that uh, collab we did. Um, in Vegas that you flow Yeah yeah Basically will you fight me Or whatever Yeah All the comments just Gay gay gay, <laughs> gay. <laughs> I mean that was kind of The point of the joke But like Yeah We have our own We have our own ship Going on Yeah oh, okay. um, Wait who are the other ones though I Vanessa I remember A YouTube wise This was a long time ago But I do remember uh, Vanessa's name was one of them Okay if I have to list Three YouTube girls I would date You guys have to do it too I would think of them But I can't really He doesn't know any no, YouTube. <laughs> He doesn't know any YouTubers I, yeah. either Okay what you got um. Damn. On he knows a lot. He ke- know he a keeps me up to date. Actually. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know who I would date, man. That's that's. Be are you Let's dating? Put it out there. Yeah. Man. Are you dating right now, though? Uh, I, a little bit, a little bit. Just a little bit. Seeing. Yeah. Oh, you're trying sh- to figure stuff out. You're not with someone right now. You're not, just dating. I'm not official with anybody, okay. but I'm dating. Yeah. What, what kind of girls? What kind of girls are you into? Half Asian. Papas. Really? Oh, yeah. like yourself. Like you. Yeah. You love yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody likes this. Yeah, that's true. To a certain so degree. That's why a lot of couples, they look similar. Very, they act similar. Very true, yeah. Yeah. 
So wait, I, so you you really you're you're like set. You like half Asian. I like half whatever. Half anything. So like mm-hmm. I like exotic. Oh, I like mixes like exotic. Mm-hmm. Like it's like oh what what is you? What what, what about is you? Yeah. <laughs> what what about mixes do you do you like? Is it just I, the look or I is think it the, just uh, the uniqueness and the exotic. No, look hapas are like, good looking. Usually yeah. they're. I yeah. mean, it always ends up like an interesting combo. Like they have like Asian eyes, but they look white. It's mm-hmm. very like different. I think like, there's could something you tell appealing what about I was, it. was like when you first saw me. When I first met you, I didn't know you were part Asian. To be honest. Mm, oh yeah, some people in in like elementary school people. I guess I didn't settle into my Asianness mm-hmm. yet, and they just thought I was a white dude with a tan. You, you're half Filipino, half Filipino, half. Your mom Welsh. is a Filipino one. Yeah. I've seen you post. I was mm-hmm. like, oh, I had no idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, well, well that makes sense. I didn't yeah. know there were so many uh, Filipinos, and you guys, you and Roy grew up in North Carolina. Yeah, we did. Yeah, there's a lot of Filipino community out there. Uh, there's not a lot, but there's Filipino communities everywhere. Yeah, there's just mm-hmm. not like there is like so there was a lot of us, but. Like when we got together, there's a lot, mm. and then in my class, I was like the only Asian I in see. every class. Yeah, it's like yeah. magnets too, because there may not be a lot, but they somehow find themselves yeah. coming together, type of thing. Mm-hmm. I heard, um, I don't know if this is true or not, but in Charlotte, that there's a lot of racism towards Asians. There is that true? Um, I don't know. It's like, well, have I, you experienced racism growing up? Not well, really. actually, because I, I would, I should ask Roy because you don't look. Yeah, like, yeah, I don't look <laughs> like, like Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> we, uh, I went. The school I went to was like eighty percent African American, ten percent, really? or maybe like seventy percent African American, twenty uh, percent Caucasian, and then ten percent miscellaneous, like me and like other, Roy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. And then everybody else. Do you think that contributed to why you guys stayed on YouTube? I don't know. Maybe. Possibly. Mm, it sounds <laughs> possibly. <laughs> I mean, that kind of sounds like me and Sean, honestly, like kind of like losers. Yeah. No offense. <laughs> we were uh, we prefer nerds. Yeah, we were. Okay. No, we were that. I mean, we didn't go out like you know to parties and stuff yeah. like that. We didn't like do bad things. We weren't yeah. drinking as a little kids, and we just made stayed home, made videos. Yeah. Bored. I didn't have know? a car. Like, where am I gonna go? Mm-hmm. Let's make a video. Damn. Even when we had a car, we stayed home. <laughs> Yeah, we were we were losers. Um, okay, well, that's interesting. Yeah. Who do you? I have a question. Yeah. Brought to you by Ninja Mel. <laughs> What's your question? Who do, you, who do you guys think I would be a good match for? Do you know anybody? Vanessa. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah. Well, let me ask you this: What kind of girls are you into besides besides Hoppas. the physical Hapa look? Okay. Um, like what kind of personality? She like only cares about yeah. the look. Yeah. yeah. That's all that matters. <laughs> Numbers don't matter. Personality don't right, let matter. Me think. <laughs> let me. If they think. don't speak English. That's fine. Yeah. yeah. There's not yeah. many people I know. To be honest, I'm not or that, this or, game. or at least Hapa. You know. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it doesn't. It, it just has. To, I just like mixes, but it doesn't have to be a mix. Or she doesn't have to. Not it. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> she doesn't have to be a mix. Half Shiba Inu. Half but I like girls who like have a passion or they're like working towards something mm. like yeah. and they're not like making excuses like they're just they're like doing it they got drive yeah mm-hmm. and so like that they always they're like oh i gotta go do this and i'm like oh go do your thing girl and then hit me up later. <laughs> do you like do you like when the girls have more energy or, or they're more like reserved uh type? i like funny so like i don't care as long as they make me laugh it's i, I just want to laugh what type of funny goofy funny dry funny Goofy, witty, goofy, mm. witty, funny, or jokester. Like, oh, yeah, not afraid to look stupid, but also like, oh, you had to think about that joke a little bit. I like it. <laughs> so <laughs> kind of smart too. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Vanessa. Vanessa. Actually, I don't really know. <laughs> I've gone over there like three times. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You Maybe still didn't list your other two. Like you didn't. Okay, the other two. <sighs> um. <laughs> 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 well, that's never happened before. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think of uh, this. Is, I'm too on the spot. I can't think of okay, girls right that's now. Fine. I'm about well, to get myself I mean, in trouble. We can just uh, go back to other things. And I mean, let's go back to your content because mm-hmm. uh, a lot of your content, you know, it is lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And uh, a lot of times that it will be about girls mm-hmm. or you'll have a lot of like um, girls in your videos and you're aware that, you know, it can bring views. Mm-hmm. And uh, what is your thought process when constructing video ideas? You know, because uh, you're talking about, you know, trying to come up with like better ideas and that's mm-hmm. always the thing you're trying to top yourself in a way mm-hmm. so i guess well it's just like it's basically just whatever go- is going on in my life you'll see it on the vlogs so if i don't have much going on or if i'm like not motivated you can tell uh, and it's bad but when i am motivated i'll uh make videos and like, they're better and i'm like oh i want to do it like this i want to do it like that but <clears throat> a lot of people think i make videos because uh about love and about girls about cute stuff because 
my fans like that, and they do like that. But that's not the reason I'm making it. It's because I really am always looking for love. Always, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm always on the search for the one. If Your I could just find one the one and be like, "Hey, there you are, done," then I'd be happy. Then every every video is about her. Yeah, I mean it would be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. my life would revolve right. around whenever I find the one. My life is gonna revolve around her. You're a romantic. Yeah. So you're really into um. I'm I'm guessing you like romance films and R- stuff. Like not straight romance movies, cause like how many times did you I'm watch a the Notebook? <laughs> I watch like romantic <laughs> comedies. Yeah, rom com. Yeah, there, there we you go. go. Yeah. Or action romance. <laughs> Never just romance. You so you, why? There's nothing wrong with that. You haven't watched the Notebook. Okay, or like, I do watch the Notebook. From a time Walk to, to time. Remember. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I like that better than the Notebook. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the well, thing I mean, about it though, like, nah. <laughs> the thing about it though is a, a lot of people will say. Um, like love will find you like when you're not searching, you know, mm-hmm. when you're waiting. But I also think it's difficult for you because like you're you're like you're a very attractive guy, objectively. And <laughs> um, you gotta say that. Like, you had to say he's that. An attractive to say guy. It. Okay. Well, because sure. you know, Anna. Go ahead. But anyways, you're um you're an objectively like very attractive person, you mm-hmm. know, and you're very charismatic. So I'm sure a lot of girls are very infatuated with you. They're interested. They want to get to know you more. Mm-hmm. So you have to like go through. And like weed them out. What a tough problem, yeah. man. You're it's almost like a hot here. girl. <laughs> it's rough out here in the streets, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more like LA. LA girls are frustrating because I've heard that. What does that mean? Like yeah, explain just, that. They always want something more, or like want something else, or like they want. They're like, oh, why didn't you? Ta-? Eventually, they're always like, why didn't you tag me in the, uh, that story? Or oh, you should post this picture of us. I and see. I'm like, girl, don't tell me what to post. So the ulterior motives. Yeah, for, like okay. they know, like they they enjoy, like I'm sure they in, we have fun together. But then they're also like keeping an eye on, oh, yeah. like I could get numbers yeah. from this too. So Ninja Milk making me burp. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, so it's real. Those cloud chases are real. How yeah. how many uh, girlfriends, serious girlfriends, have you had? Okay, I'm sure you've dated a lot, but let me think. Okay, serious, serious. I would count. So over a year, there's one. High school doesn't count. That shit doesn't count. Okay, <laughs> I, I think I think it's counts. High I think school high school counts. Okay, counts. there's yeah. one in high school, yeah. Vanessa, and then oh, oh. Shanna. Wait, which, no, oh, not, not that Vanessa. <laughs> yeah. That's that's she'd be like twelve or something. <laughs> oh, is she it that was, young? No, she's twenty three. I think. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. So there's Vanessa, Shanna, Daniela. Damn, just Lauren. put them all on blast. They don't know. They okay. don't watch me. They yeah, all hate true. me. So <laughs> Do they boring. all hate you? No, I hope not. Lauren's the uh, the YouTuber we. Yeah, yeah, the most recent. Mm-hmm. So and then is that well, your last the l- girlfriend? No, no, there's Kylie. I dated Kylie too. She is a Hispanic that. YouTuber. Mm-hmm. I didn't. I've never heard of her either. But uh, we we met up, and then it was awesome. How long was that? Two months relationship. Well, so it was a quick, quick one. You were with Lauren one. for a little bit. Three years. Mm-hmm. Is that your that longest? Long yeah, one. that's a long time. And your shortest is two months. Would you say? I think so, probably. Mm-hmm. But that two months was magical. Mm. Mm. Would you say everything has been magical though for you? Mm. Because you're such a hopeless romantic, you might romanticize situations. I do. I I every time I'm in a, a relationship, they're always like, "Man, it's like a movie," and I'm like, "I know," because like, <laughs> we'll get in a fight and then I'll I'll run outside just because it's raining and she'll chase me. And then <laughs> no, you're not serious. Are you no, serious? stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do it. Like I'll show up. I'll be like, "What would they do in a you're movie?" You're the cheesy dream guy yeah. that oh. girls love. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> what would you say is the biggest lesson you learned about yourself and about what you like from your past relationships? Um, oh, that's a deep one. What's the biggest thing I learned about myself is I I realized that I go for the perfect girl, but there's no perfect girl. Like, everybody's going to have problems or everybody's going to be different, so you have to adapt. You can't just find somebody perfect for you. You got to find somebody, and then you guys got to adapt together and become the perfect person. So that's – what was the second part of the question? Uh, what, what, uh, in terms of what you like in a girl. what you I guess oh. what you don't like, you know, because the more you date, the more girlfriends you have, the more you kind of refine what, what you want yeah. for yourself and then what you want in the other person. I yeah. Guess. Well, people, they're always like, why are you always dating YouTubers? <laughs> oh, wait, the last <laughs> – Three, four uh, YouTubers? Or? Well, like the last two were YouTubers and then like girls I dated, they're, uh, they're often YouTubers. Gotcha. Because they're just like, I just vibe with them because they're like funny and like they're witty and they're quick and mm-hmm. they're, it's like they're ready for camera all the time. But so it's also, like, you have a interest. common ground. Yeah. 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 You yeah, know, like they'll understand ground. your struggles like, oh, like uploading times, you're yeah. not doing well, the mm-hmm. algorithm. And like I'm on my phone tweeting or Instagram, they know I'm working. Yeah. Even though I like 
somebody who's not a YouTuber doing that is not working. Does it cross your mind that like, you know, I'm sure it does to a certain degree where it's like, man, we can help each other too in mm -hmm. our work. I mean, like being together, being in a relationship, oftentimes it mm -hmm. helps your career as well on YouTube, right? Yeah. True. Or does it take, does it take away? No, it helps. It's just difficult to, cause then like it blurs the line, whether it's for YouTube or right. if it's real. Exactly. Or if you that's do what, I'm, one, that's what I'm kind of trying to get at yeah. right now. Like, how does that affect, how has it affect your previous relationships? Uh, it, it doesn't really affect me as much, but I, I've had exes where they're like, um, oh, why are you filming this? Or like, I'll, I'll take them on a vacation and I'm vlogging it. And they're like, why are you vlogging? And I'm uh, like, because like, it's not because it's good for views, but if we're going on this awesome trip, why not film it? Like mm -hmm. we're, it's not like it's going to so take away from it. So you've gotten into fights yeah. because of that. I can, yeah. I can get that. Yeah, okay. they don't. They don't. They don't always like it. Right. <laughs> All right. Well, on that very dark note, we're gonna take a quick uh, <laughs> shishi break, and we'll be right back. This episode of Off The Pill Podcast is brought to you by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of amazing classes covering dozens of creative and entrepreneurial skills. You can take classes in everything from photography, uh, creative writing, design, productivity, and more. Uh, for me personally, I the only one I've ever really checked out was the film and video one, but I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so whether you're returning to a longtime passion project, challenging yourself to get outside your comfort zone, or simply exploring something new, Skillshare has classes for you. Um, like I said, there's, there's a lot more than what I mentioned, but that's the only one I checked out, so I can't vouch for all of them. Um, you guys can join uh, millions of students already on Skillshare today with a free uh, two months, actually, if you guys use our link, and that is Skillshare.com slash Higa. Make sure you guys um, use that link because it makes it, it makes us look a lot better, and it makes us look cool to Skillshare. So use Skillshare.com slash Higa, and it'll help us a lot. So thank you guys. Sign up. Get your two free months. Skillshare.com slash Higa. And we're back. Hey. Yeah, we're just talking about your muscles. Yes. <laughs> gay. Gay. <laughs> gay. Every comment gay. again. <laughs> no, I mean, we were saying like how you, you got jacked recently. What, yeah. What's your uh, what, what's your training regimen? Uh, Is it just I, boxing? Well, I mean, boxing, I try to box, but it's more lifting. So, like, I've been lifting, which everybody tells me, if you spar again, it's going to make you a lot slower. And I'm like, how much true? more slower could it make you? Like... You could be a little bit slower, but not that much slower from lifting because I'm just too skinny. I need to get some size. You're actually not that skinny, though. I mean, like I was saying, you got a lot bigger, but yeah. maybe that is maybe that is making you slower. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Fuzi was I mean, he's a big dude. He's a big dude, but I should have seen that punch. Cut. <laughs> he like had it all the way back here and it came all the way around. I just like was too overwhelmed. Have you ever been in a fight outside of uh, this this boxing ring? Uh, no, not really, because like I've been in like we puffed out our chest and we're like pushing each other and I'm ready. Like we're ready to go, but then somebody will break it up or my mom will be like, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when was this? Like in your household? Yeah. Like if me and my brother like start like something, like it, it gets stopped or like any fight, it gets stopped. Even at a club, like I've had people kicked out before, but, but it's cause like they're trying to come into my table or something mm -hmm. and then the bouncer will grab them. So right. it never escalated past that but I don't, I don't want it to escalate past that right. I, mean, I don't think i've ever been in that scenario even like the whole pushing thing mm. never yeah. ever well I, I punched a girl in the stomach once as oh, a kid okay. but um <laughs> that's it yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was in kindergarten she yeah. cut the line okay we, oh, we've wow. told this story yeah, yeah we've told that. this yeah um, i actually in kindergarten one time i was the punched a girl no <laughs> but i i slapped a girl's butt Wow. But I was like wow. five. I didn't know it was a sexual thing. I was the door holder and I took my job very seriously. Oh, like, good job, mate. Yeah. And no, and, and like, you have to run ahead of the line, hold the door. And then when the last person's out, you got to go to the next door, hold the door. So I got there and this one girl was dilly dallying hard. Oh. And at the end, I was like, come on. And, pa. and then she hurried up and I was like, done. And then I, I like ran to the next door. And my teacher grabbed me. He's like, don't ever do that. And I was like, Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I just didn't want to miss the next door. <laughs> and she was like, you can't do that. And I was like, I didn't know. And I didn't know. Yeah. And now I would never do that yeah. unless she was really dilly dallying. <laughs> like, if, like, I'm like, come on. <laughs> come on, grandma. <laughs> you can't dilly dally around, around Alex. Mm -mm. How'd you do in school when you were young? So bad. So really? bad. Yeah. High school too? All school. Any school? Not for me. I was doing bad. <laughs> I got F's and D's, detention. Um, Barely passed. Yeah, I shouldn't have passed. There's Your a lot of times. 
get on you for that? <laughs> they were like, oh, he's making videos. So that'll be his career. No, they were like, before it took off, they were like, you should focus on school. And then and it took these. off, and they were like, you should focus on videos. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Also, they were cool about it. <laughs> yeah, once it, like, proved to be worth it. Because in the beginning, it wasn't, I mean, I remember yeah. when you guys, we were doing lip syncs around the same mm-hmm. time, and obviously you can't monetize those. Even when they became, I don't know when monetizes, monetization came. It's about 2008 or so. Yeah, but I did, I was late on that train. I don't know about you guys. I mean, no, I was late, too. We actually yeah. found out because of you. Oh, really? Yeah, so um, we were in North Carolina, and there was, like, nobody <laughs> back then, uh, YouTube-wise. So we're mm-hmm. just doing our thing. Like, we don't know anything about anything. Low-quality videos, not using lights, whatever. Yeah. And uh, people were watching. And then one day, my dad was like, hey, I just saw this article, and that Ryan guy is getting paid by YouTube for his videos. And I was like, what? And then he was like, yeah, you got to sign up for this AdSense thing. Yeah. So then we did, and then we started getting paid. What, what year was that? Do you remember? Oh, it was, like... 2011 or something. Oh, okay. So, so it was we a lot were later. Li- yeah, it was a lot later. Yeah. Right. Because you guys we stopped like, for a little bit, right? We stopped because he went to college. Roy right. went to college. And then um, I was like, I want to keep making videos. And, he, and then he was like, okay, let's start again. So then we started yeah, again. Yeah, I remember when you guys started up yeah. again. And then, uh, and then it just got crazy. And yep. it hasn't stopped yet. Yep. How do you feel? <sighs> do you feel the burnout? Yeah. I think I've, I, it's like phases. It. Yeah. Yeah. I think I've gotten past the burnout, but now I'm just looking for like a new motivation. Right. And it's, I'm, I'm waiting for the one. <laughs> oh, you mean, <laughs> that, you mean a girl. Uh, yeah. Your, okay. I, my life revol- revolves around finding the that one. That is so funny. I know. It's not even like a YouTube character. You're I really literally just a TV show. Like that's like, <sighs> like the premise for most TV shows, the guy who is just looking for a girl. Yeah. Everything girl. else is secondary. Yeah. Yeah. Would that's how ever, I met your mother basically. Yeah. yeah. Would you ever uh, date a fan? Yeah. Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think so. Mm. Oh, I actually dated this one girl one time, and we became boyfriend girlfriend. And like three months in, she told me she used to watch my videos when she was little. That's weird. And I was then like, you that she didn't tell you got me. <laughs> <laughs> but at that point, it does. It didn't matter, right? right? It didn't matter. Yeah, but like, in. and she could have been just scared that she didn't. Oh, I should have said the first date. Oh, I didn't say it the second date. Yeah, and yeah. She's like, man, I gotta tell him at some point. Yeah. After you fell in love. And yeah. Then she's like, too late. Well, talking about being burnt out and, um, like, you know, looking for the one. But mm-hmm. you're also still focusing on your career. Are you looking towards other things to do? Because I know recently you were on a Hulu show, yeah. right? You I were also on a, a voice act over actor for Nickelodeon. Yeah. Thing? yeah. Oh, what so was that? The I didn't three hear. things that came out so recently are the Hulu show called Light as a Feather, where I just I had little parts in that. And then I was the voice of a character in a new Nickelodeon show that just came out Sunday. And it's every Sunday. Wow. Um, What's it called, man? Middle School Mogul. So Is I, it on Nickelodeon? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I know. I was like, what? Congrats. Dude, residuals. They asked, me, <laughs> they asked me to send in a self-tape. And I looked at the script, and it said, Filipino RA at a middle school for geniuses. And I was like, all right. And then they gave it to me. And the character looks like me. <laughs> and I was, it, it was crazy. I've never had them animate my That's crazy. voice to a, like a cartoon. <clears throat> mm-hmm. It's weird. I've always said you had an interesting voice, yeah. though. Yeah. So it's that's probably a good. That could be a good route for you. And look, you're doing what you got into a genius school. Maybe I not did. you, but yep. your voice with D's and F's. See, kids, there's still hope. <laughs> <laughs> if I got a C, I was so happy. For real? I was like, yeah. That's all not day, very. Boy. That's not very stereotypical of you. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. That's the no. white side. Yeah, I was like, I was really, I wasn't bad in high school. I was just like, not obedient. You didn't care. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. like, I would be super class clown Mm -hmm. and like all the time. And the teacher would be laughing while writing me a detention slip. And I'm like, (laughs) oh, come on. So you, yeah. So you had a gift, and when you knew I, you had a gift. Yeah. When I was, How was Roy, school. how was Roy? Because you guys were uh, went to school together, right? He was. He he had his like, he had his moments where he would be like, out like do something crazy, but uh, it was more like on the quiet side. I I I don't know why I just figured he would be like super into his studies. He was really smart. Yeah. Yeah. He he had no problem with school. Mm-hmm. I would be the kid that waited before class every morning for the bell to ring and then slide in like a secret agent on my side. What? Every day. I just thought oh. it was funny when I was like 13. I thought it was funny. So Dude, I would you, would, wait. you would be, if TikTok was around, you'd be huge. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. And my teacher would always be like, wow, you almost missed, you almost made it late, Alex. And I'm like, I know, sir. That was a close one. <laughs> every morning. Every morning. Yeah. What was your, uh, the third thing that was coming out for you though? 
Oh, said. Escape the Night. I did Escape the Night again. Mm. The All Star one. That's so fun. That was uh, Joey's thing, right? Yeah, Joey's thing. Yeah. It's like. Where is that on? It's on that YouTube? YouTube Premiere, yeah. Okay. Um, what is that about? What is the, the it's it's so room, basically right? it's a it's a live action escape room. So everything's set up, but we don't know what's gonna happen. So we'll like put a key in a in a wall, and then like all these cowboys will run in on like horses and be like pew pew pew. Like, ah, I guess this is a cowboy episode, <laughs> or like oh pirates, like or like we'd freak out. And it was super cool because they had like real monster actors from like Walking Dead come mm. and play these monsters, and they would chase us. And wait, so this is. Real, it's like real. It's, it's not like a scripted. No. Oh, I thought it's it was not. scripted this whole time. It, it's scripted, but not for the cast. Like we don't know right, what's gonna happen. Right, right, right. But they know what's gonna happen when we do this. This is gonna happen when we do this. This unlocks. Mm -hmm. So it was cool. And, and was how do crazy. how do people get voted off or they die? You die. You so just you compete and die. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. It's fun. There's a lot of YouTubers in that. Is there anyone yeah. that um you want to spill the tea about? Who's the most diva YouTuber you've met? On the on the season, just in general. Um, you know a lot. That's why you met I Gabby mean, I feel and like you know Gabby and Tana. They're pretty diva -ish. diva ish. Were they? Were they both on the show? Yeah, they're both on the show. <laughs> I can't go into it, but you they know what I'm talking it. about. <laughs> they know. But you're cool. You with them. know. But yeah, cool. we're cool. Yeah. That's kind of. I mean, that's kind of like the new. Yeah. It's not like a bad thing anymore. It's yeah. almost like, oh, that's what kids are into. Yeah. Like be the kind of diva, kind of like you know, showing off. Your we just have to be there. Like we had to be there from five p.m. until like five a.m. Mm -hmm. Like for a week, dude. That's crazy. So people will show their true colors in right. that time, and people. Some people can't handle all of it. So like at like three a.m., they just become super diva, or like they just get super irritated. Even though we're all going through the same thing, mm. some of us complained, and some of us just was like whatever. We're Honestly, that is a long time though. It is long. like back to back, twelve yeah. hours at that time yeah. of night. You yeah. go home, go to sleep, get back at like five again. Yeah. I could see I could see a lot of people getting irritated by that. Yeah. So, but Joey was great. Joey's like he just remained calm the whole time. He never got frustrated, or he got frustrated with other people. But like mm -hmm. he kept it professional and he checked on people. Even some of them, the people that were acting like divas or being crazy, he would be like, "Okay, what do you need? Okay, I'll help you." Mm. Even though the rest of us were like <sighs> just irritated. Yeah. Well, well he's he's like, yeah, I mean, he was cool because it's his project, right? Yeah. 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 That's some that's some crazy hours. How yeah. are you? In Escape the Night? Yeah. I mean, were you, did you get frustrated and were you like diva ish? Uh, no, I just got more annoyed <coughs> with the people that were complaining because uh, I'm like, we're all in this together. All of our feet hurt. All of our backs hurt. Everybody's cold. Well, I'm glad I didn't do it then. They asked me. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> okay. I would do it again. I'm going to do it. Every time he asked me, I'm, I'm going to do it. Yeah. I'm going to yeah. see what the hours are first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he just no, said it's cool. I, did, I thought it was actually a uh, filming. That's why I didn't want to do it. No, it's fun. Like, <coughs> you're in there with everybody and, and you're everybody's. You're doing it for real. Yeah. Okay. Everybody's confused. Nice. Yeah. You should try out the, uh, if you like escape rooms, you try out the Saw escape room. We just did it in Vegas. How was it? It was pretty cool, man. It was like, it was not what I was expecting. It's a long experience. I'm horrible at escape rooms. Oh, really? Yeah. I, after like 20 minutes, my ADHD kicks in, and I'm just more of a burden mm. on the group. <laughs> like, I bring everybody down. That's kind of me, too, actually. I'm like, guys, come look at this. It's so cool. It has <laughs> nothing to do with getting out of here. Yeah. But <laughs> 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 so, uh, it looks like we got some fan questions here. Mm. You ready? I think so. So, here's one from Believe Alex. Mm. How do you deal with the recent hate you got from the KSI Army? Mm. So <laughs> maybe maybe give us a little background on what yeah that what does that mean? So uh, <laughs> I me and Yusuf or right, Fuzi sparred. KSI reacted to it, and he made an entire video about me. Oh, he's my biggest fan, <laughs> 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 and he told all his fans to go to my Instagram and comment clown emojis. So like I had like a thousand comments on my newest picture and then he, he commented that and it got over like 150,000 comments of clowns. Wow. So after the next day I was like what should I do? And then so I put I changed the caption after 150,000 mm -hmm. people commented and said comment if you're my biggest fan comment clown. <laughs> so now what they're all like oh no. <laughs> they got to retract it. He got us. A, a lot of the yeah, comments. That's a great comeback. <laughs> A lot of the comments were like, oh, he got us this time, but we'll get him. Don't worry. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I'm sure your engagement did well on that picture. It I did know. good, yeah. yeah. So so why why did he call you a clown? Uh, just because I challenged him before, and I guess. Yeah, in yeah. the past. What, so why, um, 
Where is the story? I mean, I know there's history between you two. We had KSI on. Mm-hmm. I don't think he he mentioned. Did he mention Alex? I don't think so. Yeah, he didn't really mention it, but mm-hmm. um, I don't. I I couldn't remember if there was like actual like dislike there or if it was just like an internet thing. I think it what, was. Like, where does that stem from? You and KSI. Why is that a thing? I don't remember. Is it because you said you wanted to fight him, but it wasn't in like I a think, bad way? Like you weren't. Yeah, like, I don't know. I just th- I think I wanted to spar and then. Uh, I think just the way they go about talking about things or like doing things, mm. it just makes me mad because like makes you mad. It makes me mad because like they're just like they they're not classy about anything. They're more like oh I would stomp you in the crowd or mm. like you're a whatever. And then I'm just like oh I just want to spar guys. <laughs> it's the so then it got into it and then Deji started commenting on the breakup with me and Lauren and then Lauren got mad. Oh, and it got then, personal. Yeah, I saw Lauren get mad and that triggered me to get mad mm. and I was trying not to but. Once you see your girl or, like, the love of your life at the time get mad, then you're mm-hmm. just like, ah! So you have to jump in. So it was real anger and hate then. I don't know. It's got to be. Because, I mean, you seem like... I did, I thought it was like you guys were just doing a thing. Like, you know, mm-hmm. I really didn't know. We asked KSI the same thing with his whole thing with mm-hmm. Logan. And he actually said... We asked him, could you ever be friends mm-hmm. with... Uh, Logan? With Logan. He yeah. said he could be friends with Logan. Mm-hmm. He thinks in the future. Not with Jake, he would though. never be friends with Jake. He genuinely hates him. What? Yeah. Strange. But I was wondering the same thing with you. Do you think you and KSI could ever be homies? Yeah. I think I think if we all if we ever saw each other in person, like me, KSI, Deji, whoever, like everybody's fine with each other. It's just online, it's just like, oh and then yeah. in person it's like, oh hey. Remember that time? Like <laughs> Is there anyone you, you don't like? <laughs> no, I don't I don't hate anybody. Um I probably dislike Say it. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> you thought about it. Say it, dude. Spill the tea. I don't know. I just, I, I don't I don't hate anybody. Like there's nobody. I'm if scared. I saw it in person, I would be like, I don't want to see you, or I don't want to be in the same room. Well, are there people in your past that uh you know on your come up that kind of like talk down to you or Roy, and you're mm-hmm. kind of like, oh, I'm gonna show them. And I guess when you got to that point, did you feel like? oh, yeah, like, I'm better than them, or you kind of just, like, you let it go because you're like, I'm too busy with it kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, I never got uh, inspired by haters. So, like, I did have friends in high school that were, like, like, all the guys that were in Wasabi that left to go talk to girls in sports, they super regretted it. They all, they probably all have asked me to, if I could hire them to do something. Mm. Like, after college, they're like, can I be your assistant? Can I do this? And I'm like, oh, man, I can't because then I had to move you out here. Then I had to pay for your shelter. Where are you going to live? Who's going to? Your shelter? <laughs> like, I have to, like, where are they going to oh, live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't have money. So yeah. then I'm like, I, I can't. I have to focus on this. So I don't know. I, I don't think I ever was like, ah, in your face. Mm. Yeah. So no. are you going to box KSI or, or Deji? <laughs> <Do> you- <laughs> I, I, would, I would take Deji because... Is Deji, I don't think he's fighting, is he? I honestly need to do my research, but... I don't know either. From what I saw, Logan's boxing uh, KSI, Mm -hmm. and the undercard's all real boxers. Yeah. Like, real fights. Not that you guys aren't real fights, but, like, actual professional boxers. Um, Which is interesting. And I kind of like that what their explanation is. Like, they want to expose, you know, real boxing to a different audience. Yeah. I think that's cool. But, like, I don't know where... I don't know anything else about, like where everyone else is fighting. I don't even know when you and Fousey fought. Like, I didn't even know about that. <laughs> that was, like, no training involved <laughs> for me at all. It was just having fun, and then let's go see what happens. Um, but I would I, could, I would box Deji because he's not training for anything. I think I could take him. Like, I don't think... Did you ever call... Did you call him out yet? Nah. I don't know. That's someone it's you want to like, fight. I would, yeah. I would spar Deji. But I don't know if I would do it in an event. It would just be for fun. Anyone else you want to spar? Um, Ryan, but he said no. If I if I like took some classes and stuff and you like taught me, I would I'll do it. <laughs> I mean, I'm not like to like knock each other out, but yeah, like it was just for fun. Yeah, yeah, I would do it. Yeah, just for fun. So you calling him out right now? I mean, I have to learn. You gotta teach <laughs> me how to do it first. <laughs> Guys, when your views all are right. at an all-time low, the only time I'll good. actually spar right now is if it was like MMA, because then oh. I you can use Ooh. boxing and then I can use my yeah. wrestling. I would just have to try to keep you away because as would, soon as you like grabbed me, me, I'd be like, no, yeah, be, please. But it'd be interesting. I mean, yeah. are you guys the know. same size? Like, you, I, I can't he's, tell. He's right a, now. he's uh, bigger than me. Uh, I think a little yeah. bit taller, and that's the only reason I'm heavier. Weight, yeah. weight wise, no, he's also more muscular. He has how much more power? I haven't been working. Well, I just started working on again, so. 
I'm, I'm probably gonna lose like weight. One seventy five, or like one seventy six now. Yeah, I'm not. I've never been in the seventies. How, how what's your height? Uh, five eight. Oh, yeah. We're like pretty close. You're like yeah. five ten. I'm six foot. Are you really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. <laughs> but know that. that's the only reason I'm heavier. It's because that's four inches. No, nah, it's because you have like a lot of muscles and stuff. Oh. Yeah. Well, <laughs> with that being said, <laughs> make sure you guys go and check out Alex's muscles. He posts some very nice pictures of himself <laughs> on Instagram. I'm like, I was like, man, dude, I. That could have been me if I worked out. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun. Yeah. Well, I mean, you look good, and it's great. Um, and I'm looking forward to your your next fight, I guess. Yeah, sparring. I'll let you know. It's yeah. usually like a couple days before somebody <laughs> will be like, hey, let's spar. I'm like, okay. Oh, okay, so it's just for fun. <laughs> yeah, so if it ever okay. happens again. Yeah, and if we ever spar, we'll, I'm sure we'll make some kind of announcement or something yeah. like that, just for fun. Let's do it. Um, with that being said, uh, you can follow Alex at... Yeah, what do you uh, uh, add Alex you Wasabi yeah. on everything? Yeah, Twitter, Instagram, Twitter, Instagram, okay. add Alex Wasabi. Do you have any other projects that you want to plug? Merch, whatever. Uh, I have merch coming out on merch. Thursday. Nice, this will be it comes out like monthly. I have this, the merch. it'll already be, it'll out, already be, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. perfect. Sweet, so go check it out. Awesome. Well, you can follow us at Off the Pill on Twitter, at Off the Pill Podcast on Instagram. And with that being said, how we end these is we just breathe into the mic. Oh, really? Because I thought it was how you I thought you ended it with arm wrestling. Oh, we, we can do that, too. Uh, if you want. Well, let's breathe into the mic, and then we'll, we'll do it. All right, in three, two, one. <sighs> All right, let's All go. right, we got to change this angle, then. We have Alex Wasabi and Ryan Higa, first official... <laughs> first official arm wrestling... Just call it already. <laughs> On your mark, get set, go! go! Oh, it looks like both Ooh. biceps are flexing. <laughs> Alex has the lead. He's getting real close and oh, inch off the oh. ground. And okay, let's go left. Cause I, I'll, let's go left. Okay. Oh, no. Is this going to hurt your injury? I don't know. Injury, I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Ready? On your marks. Yeah. Get, get set. Go. Ah, oh, yeah. Are oh, you right? <laughs> I'm okay. okay. You're strong. Sorry. No, your left is... <laughs> oh, that's are you, are you it. Hurt? I'm not sparring until 2020 now. It is one to one. Well, he, he wasn't... His hurt. Although I will say this hurt, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now you guys got to... injured. We gotta fight together. You yeah. Can use, uh, well, I'll throw laughs and you can throw. Okay, rights. perfect. Let's do it. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, KSI stronger. I'm sorry. He's he was like a rock. <laughs> it's it was crazy. I couldn't even. It, it was crazy. Okay. Okay. Well then, Deji. But he is bigger. Yeah. yeah. Fight Deji. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if that's a thing, but he's gonna fight Deji. Okay. <laughs>